Hey everybody, this is Brett. And the other day I was looking at Facebook and I see this little video talking about how microfibers from people's synthetic clothing is getting out into the ocean and getting into fish. And I'm thinking to myself, well, yeah, that makes sense. The washer is going to, you know, do its thing and the dryer too. It, it all gets back into the environment <clears throat> eventually and then it gets into our food supply. But years and years and years and years ago, probably 25 plus years ago, I decided to become a naturalist. <laughs> to whatever that means, but... Um, it really means that what I'm doing is I'm avoiding things as much as possible that are synthetic. And if you look at my clothing, you will see that all that I'm wearing here is cotton. This is organic cotton. Okay? And I do it for a lot of different reasons. One of the reasons is because it feels good. I'm a Cancer, born on July the 3rd. And feel is very important to us crabs. <laughs> I did get those once. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I avoid anything that feels like not natural, scratchy, synthetic. <laughs> and I will say that I do have a couple of rain jackets that are plastic on the outside, but I don't have any fleece, okay? Fleece is the one that washes the most microfibers into the water. I totally avoid that. All my wool blankets, I bought them all on eBay for like 40 bucks a piece. Real wool. Always look for the tag that says 100% wool. I bought a couple of blankets on eBay that didn't have the tag and learned my lesson because I knew it. When I got it, I could feel it. It was plastic. So I was reading an article on the internet about how Patagonia has taken plastic bottles and then turned them into microfiber fabrics to sell. Bad! They've learned that that's bad now because now it's getting out into the ocean as a microfiber instead of a plastic bottle. It's worse! And these things kind of make me angry that people are so fucking stupid. Do they not know that eventually synthetic and or unnatural things, whether it be clothing or pharmaceuticals or whatever, do they not know that eventually that's going to cause all of us grief not just themselves. See, whoever is exposing themselves directly to these things, those are the people that are going to get the most grief. But the rest of us also get some of the grief from people's fucking stupidity. If you wear synthetic clothing, it's very possible, I would guess, that that is going to, those microfibers can worm their way into your skin. I've heard about people that have like various like unexplained rashes and itchiness in their skin. And it seems like I've even heard like some kind of a video or article of how they've actually dug little tiny fibers out of people or something like that. It wouldn't surprise me even a whatever amount. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. So, years ago, I started getting things as much natural as I possibly could. Made out of steel or wood or dirt, rocks. <laughs> plant fibers, whatever, natural things, leather, 
natural only because I knew that that's what felt good it's what smelled good it's what looked good to me and even living in this thing it's got to go this is a giant aluminum plastic can <laughs> that I'm living in now and but at least I live out in the country and it's doing a lot of good for me and I'm getting an air cleaner soon I'm getting new filters for my air cleaner and I'm getting carbon filters to add to that too the carbon filters the activated charcoal filters clean the chemicals out of the air the other kind the whatchamacallit filters clean the particulate matter out of the air we're gonna do both so I wanna thank you for joining me in this video give me a thumbs up make a donation buy my stuff subscribe peace in